Hello all, I'm going to run through creating a ballistic table and sending it over to the scope. Start up your app. It's not connected at the moment. Go to ballistics. This is showing the last table that I transferred. If you tap the little blue triangle, it gives you a list of the tables you've made. If you tap inside the box, it will take you through to that profile. This is where you can make your alterations. If you do change anything here, always remember to use the save. Little blue cursor again takes you to your list. I've got a couple here I've been testing. Don't need those. If I use the select on the top, I can just tick the boxes and delete. To create a table, hit the add, you need to name it, I'm going to save this on the scope so I need to use D, this is purely for me to remember where it's supposed to be, I'm using my FX with Air Arms Diablo and there 8.4 grains and it's zeroed at 30 meters give it whatever name you want or a number whatever whatever suits you save here set your distances 30s there scope height is 8.5 centimeters or 85 mil select the ammo Select pellets. Air arms. And it's the 8.4 add ammo. Which fills in the rest for you. What you do need to put in is your velocity. Just check that scope pack changed eight point five. I don't do anything with the twist straight. Hit the save. So there's a new table. Thirty meters go back. Thirty meters eight point five velocity. If I go to the ballistic table, in the top right hand, the cog, here you choose whether you want meters, yards, feet per second, start distance, zero. I've got an end distance of 100 meters, intervals of one meter. The rangefinder will only work up to 100 metres. I don't shoot out to 100 metres, but I do sometimes like to just range out just to see where things are. Select what's what you want visible on your ballistic table. 
just change them as you want hit the save so there's your table if I go down to 30 there's my zero and my near zero between six, 16 and 17 meters if I go back So that's done. Use a little arrow. There's my list. The FX is selected. So now to transfer this to the scope. Before I connect to the scope, I'll make another quick table. So the add again. If I, I'll just do another testing one. Save that. I'll just change a couple of things. Ammo pellets. Save. Save. I'm just going to use that to send to the tables just as an example. So I'll switch on the scope. I'll just have a quick look, show you what's on the scope before we start moving. Long press on the cog, using the arrows to go to system, plus to select. Arrows to move along that, plus to select again, the version number. So ballistic table at the moment is test two. And I've just changed it on the app to testing. Press the cog to come out. Go to the ballistic options. It's on calculator at the moment. Using the arrows. Ballistic data. Plus to select that one. Plus to select that again. And then if I use the plus, it'll scroll through what's there. A, B, C, I haven't shifted. D's empty. E's empty. Back to A. Long press left to save. And then cog. To come out and cog to come out again at the moment I've got testing on the showing on the app Bluetooth is showing connected in blue if I go to ballistic table paper plane is blue so if I hit the blue transfer in progress That's done. If I go back into the scope, back down to system, plus to select, arrow to move, plus to go again, there's the new table. Cog to come out. So to use that table now, you need to go to your ballistic options, plus to select, arrows to move, and select ballistic table. So now the scope will be using 
my testing ballistic table. Cog to come out of that. Now to move a table to the scope to save. Open up the system. And move down to Bluetooth. Move that to off. Plus to select. Cog to come out. Bluetooth disconnected. So now I'm going to use the right arrow to connect the Wi-Fi. One, two. And hopefully it should pick up the Wi-Fi. If not, let's have a look. Connect that. Now you could connect by coming back to the device screen and using the connect there. Back to ballistic page. Now the sync ballistic data as a blue aeroplane. Select that. So now I want to send, I want to cancel that. Now I want to select D and I want to send D over to D. Hit OK. And this, the Wi Fi is really quick. So now I'll go back into the camera. Press the cog. Need to switch off the Wi Fi. One, two, with the right arrow. Cog to enter the menu. Over to ballistics. Use the plus to select. Go down to ballistic data. Plus to select, plus to have a look at what's in there. I'll use the plus to scroll through. And there's the new table, D. Long press left to save. That's there. Cog to exit, cog to exit again, and then top right hand of the screen is D. And that's it, done. If I need to change in there, long press with the cog, go to ballistics. I didn't select ballistic calculator. So use Ballistic Calculator plus to select that. I'll go back in. Ballistic Calculator is set. If I go down to Ballistic Data Settings, select that plus again. Plus, I can scroll through. If I go back to A, long press left. That's there. Cog to exit. I'll just double check. Ballistic calculator is on. Cog to exit. Cog to exit. And now top right hand of the screen is A. So A is the active table. Hope that helps. See you soon.